hands round my neck hey guys what's good happy early valentine's day welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is brianna thank you guys for being here i'm gonna do a little makeup with you guys today this makeup look to be specific and also this hair watch me get ready for valentine's day <laughs> well it's like a pre-valentine's day but you get me you understand so to begin any makeup video you want to make sure that you did all your skincare that you exfoliated put sunscreen on moisturizer all the above because let me tell you when you do all that your makeup looks a million times better. So after you've done all that, come back here and then we can start doing our makeup. I already have my brows on because I already did a video on my brows and how I do them. I'll go ahead and put a little thing up here so you guys can click on it. That was my last video. Literally all I use my brows is brow gel and a brow mascara. It's not even a mascara. It's a regular mascara. So I use a brow gel and mascara in my eyebrows and it made my life so much easier. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to use this Lush Magical Moringa one like this. I'm going to take a little bit. Okay, so that's not like that little bit, but if you guys have a significant other or if you don't have a significant other, just get ready for yourself because honestly, it just feels so good when you get ready. Like if you're feeling down and you get ready, your mood is like automatically lifted. So for eyes today, I'm going to take these two palettes. This isn't going to be like a regular pink V-Day moment. This is going to be more of like a monochrome moment, like a nude monochrome. So I'm going to take these two palettes, the Tartiste and this Honest Beauty palette. And I'm taking this one because the Honest Beauty one doesn't really have a really warm um, shade so I like to put this one into my crease and I kind of got a lot so I'm gonna blend this out already what do you guys do for Valentine's Day I would like to know all right if you notice something different I did get my hair done <laughs> by Larissa like every time I would get my hair done I loved it but I just felt like something was missing like my roots and the only reason why I didn't do my roots before is because you know it's a lot more maintenance than if you were to just leave your roots grown out but I told the rest of this time, I was like, get rid of them, please, just get rid of them. And I'm so glad that I did, because I'm so happy about it. And I love the way they look, so. I'm not entirely sure of like, what look we're really gonna do today, but I kind of have an idea. Um, I'm gonna take this shade right here. Today's I honestly, I'm just trying to do something different because I feel like I always do like a cat eye. So I'm trying to do something different because I know not everyone likes the same look. So I'm trying to do something different for you guys to give you some inspo. But something wearable because to be honest, a lot of people don't really like to go out in a lot, a lot of makeup. I mean, now a lot more people do, but not everyone. So I'm trying to keep it like in the middle. If you want to take it to the top, you can take it to the top. I personally, I feel like I've calmed down a lot with my makeup. Just chill because it takes a long time, honestly. Makeup takes a really long time. I'm gonna take this white shade right here. This white shade is honestly my favorite. I always use it in my inner corner. And it looks so good, super, super pigmented, so it definitely gets the job done. It definitely opens up the eyes a lot, too. Don't worry, we're gonna add a little shimmer just so it's not so matte. But see, like, I didn't have to put concealer under. Although, if you do like want this to last forever, then putting a concealer un under this will make it stay a lot longer. This shadow does stay really long because I always wear it in my inner corner and it always lasts through the whole time that I'm wearing it. Then again, your lids are a lot more, can get a lot more oily um, than like, say, like your inner corner, so. If you feel safer with a primer, use a primer. But if you just are like me and don't often use an eye primer, then you don't have to. I will say that the Cara Beauty Eye Primer one is so good and they have different shades, but that one is really, really nice. So if you're looking for an eye primer and that's affordable, definitely try out the Cara Beauty one because it's amazing. When you use an eye primer, it's really to have a clean slate um, to put colors on top of it and it will make other colors pop after you put them on top. So that's like really what an eye primer is for and also to make it last a lot longer. So if you're going out and you know you're gonna get tirada, then for sure put an eye primer on because you want your makeup to be looking good. All right, so that's like the kind of eye that we're going for today. Something cute, but not too much. But that's still gonna look good. 
We're not done yet though, so we're gonna add a little bit of sparkle. This is the NYX roll-on shimmer. This is in the shade Nude. I love these roll-on shimmers because you can pack it on or don't put that much on, but it gives it like the slightest shimmer, which is like perfect because if you don't wanna be wearing like chunky glitter on your face, no problem, like just use this and it looks amazing. This again isn't with any like it being wet or anything like that, so I'm just going in with a little bit of it and just kind of placing it wherever the white was at. But I just think it adds like the cutest shimmer. I hope that you guys can see this on camera, but it looks so, so cute. And when the lights hit, it's gonna look perfect. For everyone who has like significant others who don't like makeup, well, I mean one, like it's you and you can wear as much makeup as you want, but I'm saying if you want something a little more subtle, this is perfect because it's still giving that shimmer, but it's not too much to the point where it's like, damn, she got like chunks of glitter on her eyes. And you can roll it on like this to get more out of it. See, like you, you can see it a lot more now. Honestly, sometimes when I do makeup looks and I forget how I did them, I and I do a YouTube video, I'm so grateful because then I can go back and look at it. But obviously I don't do it all the time. So when I like a look, I like to make sure I do a video so that I don't forget how to do it. What you can also do with this too, you can put it on the back of your hand. I'm not gonna do that because then it's gonna get like everywhere and I don't want it to get everywhere. Or you can put it like in the cap. You see all that shimmer and it's in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. These are really nice too for me. You don't have a lot of time you have to do your makeup. Just put a solid color down like all over your lid and then just put this over it and it looks like you took some time when you did it. I'm debating if I should do falsies or not. I don't know because this new Honest Beauty Mascara, honestly I feel like I don't need falsies because it works so good. So I'm debating if I should do them or not. Do I do them or not? 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 Okay, I'm just going to do my face because I don't know if I want to do falsies or not. So I'm just taking the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Foundation. And I was gonna rub it in with my skin and then blend it in with the bleeding booty. <laughs> One second. I'm really not trying to get this on my robe. So I'm just putting this in with my fingers and then I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender after just to blend everything out and to take a little bit off. Just because I feel like when you use your fingers for makeup, it makes everything look so much better when it comes to your skin. As far as eyes, they can use some brushes, but for your face and like your skin, for sure your fingers are your best friend because they're gonna make everything look like your skin but better. I feel like you get like every part of your face when you use your fingers too because you're making sure that's going everywhere. Oh, also, I just did this because my camera overheated, so I just started to apply this. Also though, also though, what? I just, okay, so like like I said, it's important to exfoliate before you do your makeup because it just makes everything look so much better. And when you exfoliate your lips, I promise the biggest difference because it actually like makes them look more supple and you know, it's like, no dead skin, so it looks really, really good. Um, I'm gonna fade it a little crooked. But what I was, where I was going with that was. Okay, so now I'm taking this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow, and I am just putting this everywhere I would like to contour. And I'm doing this and letting the concealer sit on my skin just so that it does have more pigment and so it gets a little bit thicker, like tacky. So that it does look better when I do blend it out. Like it's gonna actually highlight more. What was I saying? Oh, what I was saying though, sorry. My mind is like all over the place. But I was saying that because I was saying like about exfoliating earlier and stuff. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I always post like me when I exfoliate my skin, especially like my lips because it makes a big difference for me and I can't go really long without doing it because it just feels gross. Like I can feel the difference. So what I did is actually on my IGTV, I made a little IGTV making my little DIY body scrub and it's so easy. You can literally get all the things that you need at Target. Um, this isn't sponsored by Target, but since we speak things into existence, Target 
I would love to work with you, Target, because I can get everything at your store. <laughs> so I uploaded an IGTV, including the ingredients and also showing you guys how I make it because it's so simple. I feel like everyone needs to do it because it makes the biggest difference, and I promise you. After you try it, then let me know how you like it because everyone needs to do it. Everyone. My skin has been so dry lately. It was so dry the other day when I was getting my hair done. When I was on the way over there, um, I actually had to stop at Ulta because I forgot my rose water. And I was like peeling and it was just not it. So I had to stop at Ulta really quick to get a little rose water. Because I wasn't going to let my skin just peel all over the place. And I will say the rose water does help a lot with that, like on the go. Because my skin will start peeling if it's super, super dry. And sometimes I feel like there's just like nothing you can do about it. Just gotta let it be sometimes. I'm not saying like don't put any moisturizer on, but I do put like a thick moisturizer on. I put oil on my skin and it still like isn't enough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sit under my eyes. My Honest Beauty powder. And with my finger, I'm gonna do that. Just so that there aren't any creases, I like to do that before I go in with this. And I'm not baking with this, so I don't do that anymore. Hey, maybe if I go to like an event, I will, but for every day, I can't because my skin is just too dry for that. And again, with this powder, you do not need a lot. I repeat, you do not need a lot because you don't wanna be looking like a flashback. Because if you put too much, this will cause some flashback. So don't go crazy happy with this. Don't do that to yourself. I really like this powder. I even got my mom. <laughs> got my mom to try it too. <laughs> and she likes it. I'm not gonna put too much powder on it just because it emphasizes how dry it is. And then I'm gonna bronze up my skin. This is the Bare Minerals bronzer I bought it at Macy's so it has like the Macy sticker over it. I want to say it's in warmth I think. I don't know if you guys have seen the video where I was talking about if you guys find a give me sun dupe like a clean dupe. I will say that this I feel like is pretty close and these Dainty Cosmetics brushes they are so so soft and look how full they are. Generally I use these brushes every single time I do my makeup and I love how soft they are, how full they are. I will say that they're so full. Like they feel so good on the skin. Then for blush, because I love blush and I like to put a lot of blush on, I'm gonna take two different blushes. This is the Honest Beauty blush. This is a cream blush and this is in the shade Rose Pink. I love, love, love this one. It's really pretty. It's super easy to put on and especially on the go, it's perfect because you literally do not need anything. Just wash your hands and you can put it on your skin. I put two on because I feel like it just emphasizes it more. I feel like I do it so hard <laughs> because I feel like I'm trying to go fast, so I'm just like, but be gentle on your skin. <laughs> and then I'm taking this Bare Minerals blush. This is in the shade that peach, though, and I just like to put it right on the apples. It makes the biggest difference when you just like do like a little smile, like, and put it on. It just stands out so much more. If you don't like a lot of blush, just please excuse me. I just like a lot of blush. Now that we're done with blush, I'm taking my ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Cheek, I wanna say it is. I don't know the name anymore because it has just rubbed off. I use this all the time in like every single one of my makeup videos. Right here on the tip of the nose, down right here. Right here, of course. And also right here. If I put a lot, don't worry because the Beauty Blender saves everything. So you just go over it and it makes everything less prominent. And to apply more highlighter, I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu and to top off the highlighter, I'm taking my ABH So Hollywood highlighter that is very busted, but I love so much, so I still continue to use it. I just feel like the tone of it complements my skin so well. This is what I'm working with. But it's okay because I love it and it works amazing. Oh, also, I have been working out at home. Um, it's amazing because you know, I don't have to leave the house. I can do it wherever. And I would just like to give a nice shout out to Miss Chloe Ting because your workout videos have me dead. But it's good, like my butt and legs are really sore, which I love. So I love a good effective workout. I don't think we're gonna do lashes today. I don't think we're gonna do lashes today. I'm just gonna use mascara because mascara works amazing and it's like I, I'm wearing eyelash extensions. We're not gonna do falsies today because with this mascara, I don't really feel like I have to wear falsies. But if you want to, go ahead. No one's stopping you. I'm taking my Honest Beauty mascara because 
this works amazing. Am I gonna do anything on the lower? I probably will, but it's okay. We can go ahead and do it after. I'm gonna do the bottom lash really quick. The bottom lash line really quick, just so that it's not left like empty. And make sure that your mascara is dry because if you don't, then you're just gonna have a mess. <laughs> this is the time that you have to make that face because you're not trying to touch your eyelash. See, that just makes the biggest difference. And I can't leave this up without doing my inner corner. So I'm taking that white that I put on my lid earlier and just putting the inner corner. And there we go, that's it for the eyes. Something cute, nothing too much. But, well, if you don't really wear a lot of makeup, this probably is a lot, but. And look at this color. It matches like that color in there. And for a lipstick, I'm going to be taking this Atomic Makeup Lexington Liquid Lipstick. This is actually a vegan and cruelty free brand. So now it's time for hair. My hair is dirty. I feel like when I have my hair heat styled, um, you can see the oil a lot faster. So don't mind that, but don't worry. We're not wearing it down. I really like updos because I feel like updos, I don't know, they just like add something to the outfit rather than like having your hair down. But that's just me. I know a lot of people like to wear their hair down, but. I do too sometimes, but I think updos are cute too. So I'm just leaving out the front, like these front bangs right here, and then I'm just brushing everything up into a little bun. And if you have a brush, that would be really good. <laughs> then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little bun at the top, just like this. Then I have a white scrunchie because it's going to go with the outfit I'm going to show you guys. Just like that. See, it's so easy. I'm going to take these big pearl hoops because they're so cute. Let's see. These are actually by Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> these are actually by Jessica Simpson. I love hoops. Hoops are everything. I feel like they just make everything look so cute. And I'm actually going to go outside to show you guys my outfit because I want to show you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely give me a thumbs up. And let me know down below what you guys do for Valentine's Day. If you have a significant other or if you don't. And make sure you subscribe so I can see you guys in my next videos. Bye.